tough day today uh, for the Seahawks, but uh, there were some certainly some positives. Uh, I felt like you know on the mound, uh, each of our guys uh, threw the ball pretty well. You know, Zarian uh, had a couple balls hit well off of him, uh, and but overall, uh, pretty solid performance by him. You know, he limited them to uh, three runs and the third run. You know, it's one of those situations where he's got a chance to get out of the inning with a ground ball up the middle, and unfortunately he tries to make a play instead of letting that ball get through, and it's probably a perfect double play ball. Uh, and then after one more out, gives up a, a fisted single to, to drive in the third run. But each one of our, our pitchers out of the bullpen, I thought, came in, filled the strike zone up, gave our defense a chance to make plays, you know, we just weren't as clean as we needed to be, but uh, we were going to have to be unbelievably clean defensively and pitching today because offensively, you know, it was a struggle for us as the day went on. Uh, Chrisman was very good. Um, not great stuff, but a great feel and, and a senior that basically is a baseball rat and has a feel for pitching, and, and he's not going to give in when, when you get in positive counts. He made pitches when he had to, and you know we we didn't do a very good job making some adjustments during the course of the game. What are some things you can take from this game? I know it's so early in the season, and you're trying to see a whole lot of different players. You got a lot of young players. What can you take from this game from, from some of those guys? I think the biggest thing I take from this game is how they show up tomorrow. You know, it, do they come to the ballpark with the same energy and excitement about ready to play? And, uh, you know. And, and uh, then watch as we go through the next few games to see what kind of adjustments players make, you know, when they're in similar situations. Uh, you know, we, our inexperience, you know, kind of reared its ugly head today and had a couple, had a, in a couple different times, but uh, those guys are, are going to learn, they're going to work at it, they, they listen, they pay attention, and, and they want to be good, they want to do well, and, um, they want to help the team every way they can. So they're going to work to make some adjustments, and some of it's going to be approach, some of it's going to be uh, just being a little cleaner defensively, some of it's going to be commanding the baseball a little bit better on the mat. Uh, Greg Jones obviously had the home run, but a couple of errors also at short. Is that another thing where you just chalk it up to youth? He's still learning some different things. Or yeah, you know, I just he he will continue to get better uh, on the defensive side. He'll relax and, and so, uh, like I said, he's one just like the rest of them that he's going to continue to work to be cleaner on the defensive side. Uh, biggest thing for me is you know keep it on that side of the ball and let's don't carry it to the offensive part or. If you have a bat at bat, don't carry it to the defensive side. So, um, and that's for all our guys. You were talking a little bit about the pitching today. Um, Blake Morgan was able to give you three innings. Just talk about his performance and kind of help you guys out. Yeah, I thought Blake was really solid. I mean, he came into the game with, with first and second no outs. And, you know, we felt like they there's a good chance they were going to bunt right there in that, in that situation to try to tack on another run or two. And, you know, he gets the out on the bunt, and then he makes a great pitch and gets a chopper with the infield in, but it, it's in the wrong place, you know. Uh, There's it, nothing you can do about that. Uh, Zach had to go to his left and go up to handle it, and by that time he didn't have a play at the plate. You know, and then we have a pass ball for, for the next run. But I thought Blake did uh, a really, really good job. Had the one walk, but outside of that, uh, you know, he filled the strike zone up and gave the defense a chance to make play behind him. Uh, there was that time there, about 20-some minute delay because of home plate umpire getting, I guess, hit Yeah, uh, right there with the mask. I mean, what do you do to keep your players kind of moving and, and staying loose? And, I mean, it's one of the and right there, it's just, you know, sit and relax. There's no, no reason to worry about getting up and moving around until we get the word that they're on the way. And, uh, you know, when they let both teams know that they were just about ready to leave to come back down here, then, you know, our guys got up and through and moved around, and their guys got up and moved around a little bit. 
I mean, there's not a whole lot you can do. It's kind of like a rain delay. You just sit and wait. And when it's over, we're, we've got time to get ourselves ready to go. I guess fortunately there was another umpire you could bring in, but otherwise it would just been maybe a two-man crew. In a normal game, a normal day, yes, it turns into a two-man crew. Yeah. You know, with this being a, a tournament situation and, and having a couple of different crews in here, somebody was available to fill in. Anything else, Coach? No, I'm good. I'm, I'm looking forward to coming back tomorrow and see how our guys react.